quality engineer has quite a different role from a traditional QA, QC specialist. Hello at all. Welcome to my channel. We'll talk about continuous improvement in an industrial setting. And today we'll be talking about the role of a quality engineer or a process engineer. They're very close. So some companies, they sort of have both and then there is a difference in job description. But for you know companies that have one of the two, they tend to have sort of the same role. And a quality engineer is different from a quality control specialist or a quality assurance specialist. So let's dive into that a bit. And I, I, I will say, you know, many companies use job titles sort of in their own way. So maybe the role that you have as a quality engineer is actually really what would have been a quality control specialist. But I do think it is good to, to know this type of role and to know that it is very vital for almost any organization. We'll take the more manufacturing side of it. In fact, this question, this video came out of a question. Uh, if I would be able to explain the role of a quality engineer or a quality validations officer in pharma, that, that really is quite a specific thing in an industry that really has their own type of position. So I'm not going to go into that part as much, but I am quite sure that the quality engineer in pharma does most of what we'll be discussing here. So validation in pharma, that, that, that I think really is its own sort of niche. But to get on to that whole quality system, right? So a quality engineer works in the quality system and mostly in the quality department, although you will also see the term process engineer and a process engineer sometimes in engineering, but more likely in technology. So if you have both a quality and a technology department, you will see the quality engineer in the quality department, process engineer more in the technology department. They can also be in the same department doesn't really matter that much. Their roles are quite similar, right? They are more of a process technologist. And that, that is the, the thing. So quality control and quality assurance, what you will see the most is that they look at this final product. So we've got a very simple production here, supplier, our stuff that we do, right? Our processes, and then that brilliant product that we make. But, and we want that to be good every time, right? So quality control will check this. But they will also check the stuff that comes in. And of course, there are things you know, during the process, our internal specs, they will be checking that as well. But basically you see a lot of product checks and in between sort of checks and a quality control engineer or quality control specialist will also set up this system to, to really be checking what should the material be doing in order for it to become a good product in the end. So we really check that end product, but we also check the materials coming in. Traditional quality control is very, well, very product, so the characteristic based. What you will also see is that they will take some safety things into account. So um, mainly here, you will see in the process all kinds of intermediate checks did my product you know, dry up well enough from the first stage to then be you know, painted correctly or something like that. Right? So it has to have a certain weight and a certain humidity or dryness or, or hardness or whatever somewhere in the early stages of the process because this cannot be corrected afterwards. So it's a lot cheaper to get it out there and you will get much quicker feedback if you do it at the start. Those are also quality control. The thing is, what you will not see as much in standard quality control is well, what setting should this machine actually have to you know, really nicely slice it and make it and whatever, right? So can we optimize our processes to ensure stable quality? So the things we talk about on this channel quite a bit, like the, the Six Sigma type of things, right? The process capability and reducing variation and finding optimal points. Now, I don't talk about design of experiment that much, but you know, that really flows into this as well. That is not really quality control. That is quality engineering. So that is process engineering or quality engineering. And those engineers, they will tweak 
the processes that we have, the material that comes in, the way we treated all of those parameters to make sure that we have a very good, preferably stable, but very good end product every time. So you are a process and settings and how to work engineer. Right? The focus is more on engineer than on quality here. Now, from this, you will get a quality control plan. And you will see in practice that quite often, you know, those settings will also be taken up into the quality control plan. But that is the big difference between most of the, the other the quality specialists, quality control, quality assurance, quality assurance. In some companies where you don't really have quality engineers, the assurance side might take this over because they're sort of there to set up a system so that you have good quality in the end. But what you will more often see is that they are more on the, let's say, the, the auditable side of the quality system. They make sure that uh, we've got good feedback from KPIs through managers and specialists to improve processes, but they don't really do that improvement itself. Right? So they make sure the systems are in place. They make sure that we have good documentation, standardization, that trainings are in place, that we follow our own quality rules as well. All kinds of things like that, like in the ISO quality system, that, that is really a quality assurance type of role to set that up properly and make sure it remains very operational. And quality control does a lot of the things inside of a quality system. The engineers will fill it with the actual process knowledge. So our quality engineers they work in that area. They really work on how do we feed it in, what do we do, how do we make sure the machine does everything as needed, what do our people need to do to ensure everything. So that type of technology of your own process, which makes it a super interesting role. I mean, not to say that QA, QC are not interesting, but they have a slightly different mindset. And I know that in sort of the job market and at our type of skill market, uh, there are people who don't really like the more, uh, let's say, the, the more systematic approach that is needed for a good quality specialist, QC, QA, especially for QA. And that would like to be a bit more deeply involved in the improving of the process itself quality engineering is your role within the quality house. Right? So the type of skills that I try to teach in this channel, more for the engineers than for the other quality roles. A quality engineer will also be more concerned with waste and variation in the process instead of just defects. And the, the traditional narrow quality focus is on good product, remove the defects, let's go. The quality engineers will be also concerned about the efficiency with which we do it and how to make our process behave in such a way that we don't generate waste to begin with. Reduce the variation, right? All of the 661 skills, basically. So that is a quality engineer, process engineer, process technologist or quality technologist. The engineer technologist side, that is it. Now that does differ from a reliability or a maintenance engineer. They really focus on the machine, so they have the same circle, but they really focus on having the machine perform well. The quality or process engineer, they focus on how to get a stable process to produce the best product we can. A product engineer generally is more concerned with new products. And so, a lot of those engineer titles in the job market, that's why I understand the request for a video like this, but quality and process engineer, they make your process sing. I hope you enjoyed that explanation and that it helps you to understand a bit what type of roles are available for you on the job market, but maybe also what kind of things you're sort of missing in your organization might be a discussion point at your next team meeting. For now, I wish you the best of luck engineering everything you can out of your processes. And as always, do not forget to also enjoy the continuous improving journey.